Hello everyone, I hope you've had a good week. Today we're continuing our series about finding joy. Luke will be talking to us about remembering all the good things that God has given us. The verse he will be looking at this week is in the book of Psalms. So if you want to look it up, make sure you've got a Bible handy. Now, it's good to get to know your way around the Bible, where all the books are. It takes some practice, but you can pick it up quite quickly. Of course, there's always an index in the front that tells you the page if you get stuck. Now I've got a Bible here, and I was always told that Psalms is easy to find because it's roughly in the middle of the Bible. And also, it's a very long book. In fact, it's the longest book in the Bible. There are 150 chapters or individual Psalms, with each Psalm being a song. My other hint for finding Psalms is to remember that it actually starts with the letter P, not an S. It's one of those words with a silent first letter. So it's spelled P-S-A-L-M-S. -S. Now, I'm gonna try and find it right now. So, here's my Bible. I'm gonna open it roughly to the middle. Well, I'm in Isaiah, so that's a little bit too far. If I go back a few pages, Proverbs, and then Psalms. So it's just before the middle, but practice makes perfect. So if you found it, great. Keep it open, or put a bookmark in it, and you'll be able to find out where Luke is talking to us from later. But right now, you need to get your paper and pens ready, as Khadija has a great craft for us. Hello, good morning. Welcome to another Sunday of Roadrunners. I'll be doing craft this morning to do with joy we're still in the theme of joy and we'll be doing it uh, on the path um, of following Jesus and in doing so we'll find joy I hope you enjoy you'll need some paper if you've got colored paper that's fine if not we'll have some felt tips or coloring pencils we can make it very colorful you need some scissors, pens and glue or, or some prick stick or glue stick. Okay, we'll start with um, a piece of paper. I'm going to draw a path. Um, I'm going to use two pieces of paper just to make my path a little bit longer, but you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want. I'm going to draw just a wavy line, a path. I'm going to try to make it quite broad because we're going to be doing lots of exciting things on the path. That's one. And you can either cut that out and then just use it as a template to draw the other. It doesn't have to be exact. It can lead off in different ways. I'm just making it a bit wavy because most paths are a bit wavy. I'm going to cut them both out. Okay. And then I'm going to stick my paths together. It's okay if you overlap a little bit. I'll just cut it off just so it joins nicely. Just there. And on my path, I'm going to put some trees on my path. So I'm going to use some green paper. Best way to do this, I'm going to fold the paper in half and I'm going to just cut it like that. I'm going to fold it in half again and I'm going to draw half a tree. I'm just going to do the trunk and the branch there. I'm sure you guys can do much better trees than I can. I'm going to do a really tall tree. Yeah. I'm going to cut that out. So I'm doing it at the edge, so when I cut it out, it will open up. Okay. If you've just got white paper, that's fine, and you can colour it in. So when you open up there, I have a... It looks more like a windmill, but it's a tree. <laughs> and there. Most probably I can just adjust the shape a little. So I'm going to stick my tree anywhere along my path. I'm just going to fold the bottom. 
I'm going to use some glue stick. Okay. So this is the path, life's path, <laughs> following Jesus, following God. So you can put as many trees as you want. Um, I'll, with this blue paper, I'll make a bridge as well. You can have as much going on on your life's path as you like. Stick it like that. So I can walk under the bridge and cars can go under the bridge and there's my, tr my trees. Now along this path, you can colour it in, make it as, as colourful as you want. I haven't got any felt tips with me today, but... And so along this path, we like to write things of joy because Jesus taught us that if we walk with him along life's path, we'll have fulfillment of joy or we'll experience joy because he will be with us. So you can write, say this is a road or this is the pavement, you can write anywhere on it. Um, you can have, you can put little um, sticky, cut out sticky um, notes of anything joyful that you've experienced or you feel you will experience in walking in the path. Spending time with God. By praying, Ooh. and you can keep this path um, and whenever something happens that really brings you joy or whenever you are feeling a bit sad, you can always have a look at it and add to it and remind yourself of all the things that bring you joy. Just being with the Lord and just um, remembering that God is always with you. I hope you enjoy this and I would love to see all of your different paths of joy. Bye. And we're looking at finding joy and finding it in what God has given us. Now, everyone sometimes forgets the things that God's done for us. We all do it. And actually, you probably forgot this morning. Everyone take a deep breath in. <gasps> and then slowly let it out. You see, God's given you the air to breathe around you. He's given you the lungs, the mouth, the ability to breathe that air in and get what, from it what you need to do your day. But sometimes with the busyness of life, sometimes with the stuff that's happening around us, we forget what God's given us. Our verse for today is in Psalm 16, and it's verse 11. It's just here, let me read it. It says, Now you've got my feet on the life path, all radiant from sh the shining of your face. Ever since you took my hand, I am on the right way. When we ask God to become part of our life, when we ask Jesus to step into our life, the Holy Spirit to come and fill us, we are walking the path that God's given us. This amazing shiny path, as this describes it, that God's lit up for us to go down and has made it so that when we walk down this path, we will experience some amazing things. But we sometimes forget that. And that is where our craft from the other week comes in, our joy jars. I'm filling mine up, as you can see, I've got some stuff in there already. We've been doing it quite often as a family together. When we forget the things that God's done, dip into your joy jar and go, oh yeah, that was what God did for me. Find enjoyment in the things that God's given us. Look around your house today. Look around your garden, the park, the outside world today. And remember, do you know what? God has provided all of this. And God wants to be your friend and support you and love you and give you even more enjoyment. But you've got to remember to see it and you've got to remember to celebrate it. It's like having a birthday and then fully forgetting about it and not doing anything about it, but complaining that nobody did anything for your birthday. You had the opportunity. It was your birthday. You could have done a party. But you forgot and then you moaned that everybody forgot actually god's provided us the greatest birthday party ever we just have to choose to do it we have to choose to listen to what he's saying and do the things he wants us to do and we will experience great joy last week we were looking at reading the bible and that actually really helps us remember the thing that god's the things the different things that god's given us god wants us to do and so today my challenge is a very simple challenge but actually 
links into the things we started ages ago and hopefully will make your time at home, your time uh, in, in this, which is a little bit of a long time, hopefully make it a bit more interesting. And that's to every day find one thing minimum. If you can find more, you're winning, but find one thing minimum that gives you joy, that makes you smile and goes, actually, you know what? God's in this. And if you can, go through your joy box, write some stuff in there, fill it up. I'll take my lid off. We've got a few things in ours. I'm not going to read them out, but fill up your joy box. Remember to enjoy what God has given you, to enjoy the fact that we have the creator of the earth who wants to be our best friend, who wants to walk with us and do all the different things with us. Enjoy that, get involved in that. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. But for now, try and enjoy what's happening. Look for things that can bring you a smile to your face. And even better, try and bring a smile to the face to someone else in your house today or even this week. Do something nice to them. Make them feel God's joy as well and remind them that God actually wants us all to find enjoyment and love and just happiness in him. Have a great week. See you later. Some great encouragement there from Luke to remember all the great things God has done for us and to remember to celebrate them. And great to see the joy jar he showed us how to make a couple of weeks ago make a reappearance. Did you make one? If not, the video is still on YouTube. It was our first Roadrunners for 2021 on January the 10th. Or of course, you can write things on your life path that Khadija showed us how to make today. And while we're talking about craft, Luke asked me to tell you that if you signed up for a Roadrunners craft pack, it will be delivered to you very soon. Also, don't forget the weekly calendar. You can do some more Bible verse finding. Last week, the story was all about Samson in the book of Judges. Now, Judges is right near the beginning of the Bible. Next week, we're moving on to the next book in the Bible after Judges. Maybe you can work out who we might be talking about. Anyway, that's all for this week. See you again soon. Bye.